Well, some Las Cruces residents are reacting after a pedestrian was hit and killed by a train. That crash happening near Loman Avenue and Amador Avenue right around 2 p.m. And that's exactly where we find ABC7's Carrie Maddox. She reports with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Carrie, good evening. Good evening, Rosemary. Well, behind me is one of the railroad crossings that was actually held up for hours today. In fact, police just cleared out about two minutes before the start of this newscast. Now, this area is right near a neighborhood, and residents that live there tell me there's a local homeless shelter there. I didn't even think about it because every once in a while the train just stops for whatever, and you hear the ding, ding, ding. We've never had anything like this happen, and I've lived here 20 years. Residents near the crash site tell me their neighborhood is mostly quiet. Still, at times, we get sometimes some homeless people that walk through and bless them. You know, wish we could help them, but they've got a nice facility over there that they do as much as they can, I think. The shelter can only do so much. Neighbors say some local homeless choose to stay near, but not in the shelter. In Sherry Carter's case, that means behind her home, right near the tracks. Sometimes people live back there and we call and they come, the police come and, and they ask them to leave. I wouldn't think that it would be a safe place to be uh, and that's why we do that. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Carter isn't the only one that fears for the safety of the people that live in and around the shelter. Her neighbor, Jeannie Izzo, is afraid the victim of the deadly crash was one of them. You know, some of them are look pretty spaced out. It's very sad that, that, you know, I don't know the circumstances or the shelter, how they try and help them find their families or even if the people want to find their families. Officials have not yet released any information about the victim, but we'll keep you updated on this story, both on air and online at KVIA.com as developments come. But for now, Reporting from Las Cruces with our New Mexico, New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm Carrie Maddox, ABC7.